Welcome guys to the Crazy Hands Knitting and Crocheting channel. In this video tutorial I will show you how to knit this beginner friendly knit hat. Here I'm going to use only knit and purl stitches. This is slouchy hat. Looks really great. If you want you can add pom pom but I like uh, the crown how it is. Uh, for this hat I was using uh, bulky yarn from Lion Brand, color made easy, um, here it is. And for this hat I, uh, I used 101 gram, so um, a little bit more than half. Uh, I was using 5.5 millimeters knitting needles. It is circular needles, 80 centimeters. So if you want to try knitting this hat with me, let's do it together. Using long tail cast on method, cast on 60 stitches. The hat will fit hat circumference 54, 55, 56, 57 centimeters. Also, if you want to use an invisible joining method, cast on a plus one more extra stitch. So in total 61. And we will use it now to join a knitting round. Slip first stitch to the right hand needle and then with the tip of left hand needle pick up the last stitch and slip it over the first one and drop it off the needle. Two tails and return stitch to the left hand needle. Place stitch marker. And the first round, if you want, you can che check a written instruction. The first round, we are going to purl all stitches. And purl. Pearl, 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 pull the needle here. and pearl till the end. Please finish this round. Round number two. Here we are going to knit all stitches.
This is like a character stitch. We are knitting one round, then we purl one round, then again knit one round. Please go on till the end. Round number three, we are going to purl all stitches around. Please finish this round and I will show you what to do at the end. At the end, to get rid of the ridge that will appear, but you can just purl the last stitch. But if you want to make it less visible, but still it will be visible, you can purl like this or you can purl one stitch below, like this. This is only in purl round. And now round number four, five, six and seven. We are going to knit all stitches. So finish this round knitting then round five. 6 and 7 you need as well. Then round 8 purl, round 9 knit, round 10 purl and then 11, 12, 13 knit. Check the written instruction on my blog if you need and don't forget when we change, when we finish the purl round if you want purl the last stitch as purl 1 below. Please go on and I will see you after. I have knitted 13, 13 rounds. Round number 14, purl all stitches. Finish this round purling all stitches. After that round number 15 knit all stitches and I will see you after. So I've done purl and knit rounds. Now we are going from round number 16. The first stitch we are going to knit and the next one purl like a ribbon. Knit one, purl one. Knit one, purl one. Knit one, purl one. Knit one, purl one. Please finish this round. Round number 17, we purl knit stitch and we knit purl stitch. So we just change purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one. Please finish this round. After that, repeat round number 16 where you start again knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. And round number 19 will be the same as round number 17. It will be purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one. Go on and I will see you after. So I've done 19 rounds and as, as here now we are going round number 20 knit all stitches and then round number 21 purl all stitches
finish knitting all stitches and next round 21 purl all stitches and that's what I have now after that we are going to repeat the pattern from round number five so we need three rounds one two three then purl one round knit one round then again purl one round then knit three rounds then purl one round knit one round and then four rounds where we did knit one purl one then purl one knit one then again knit one purl one and then again purl one knit one and then knit one round and purl one round so repeat everything from row number five from this point until this point please repeat and i will see you after and now as i said i repeat the pattern from round number five till round number 21 and now next round so the last round was was a pearl round and now we are going to need next four rounds again So we need all stitches around. Finish this round and then three more. So I've done a little bit more. Let me show you. So here I've done four knit rounds, then one pearl round, then one knit round, then one pearl round, then four knit rounds, and then one pearl round. And let's measure now the head. So if you want a slouchy head, your head has to measure about 20 centimeters. So here it is. As soon as you reach, if you reach it faster, then finish the pattern and start shaping the crown. Because the gauge, everyone has different gauge. Now we are going to shape the crown. Place the stitch marker. We start with slip, knit, pass over, and after that, knit 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that's what we are going to repeat in total five times so it means the crown will have five sections you can make six or more as you want again slip knit pass over and knit them one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and repeat this decreases three more times round number two of decreases there will be no decreases and we are going to purl all stitches so the ground we are going to knit crown in garter stitch Please finish this round. Round number three again decreases. We start with slip, knit, pass over, and now knit nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And let's repeat again.
sleep. Need. Pass over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and repeat. Yes, correct. Please repeat decreases till the end. Round number four. Again, no decreases and we purl all stitches around. Please finish this round. Round number five. Sleep. Knit. Pass over. And now knit eight. So it was knit ten, then knit nine, then knit eight. And after will be knit seven, knit six, knit five, knit four. Please go on making decreases again here till the end. After that, it will be purl round without without decreases. Then, as I said, need slip pass over, need seven, and like this you go on repeating and making decreases until you have. 25 stitches on your needles it means each section will have only five stitches so the last round will be slip knit pass over knit four and here i am that's how the hat is looking now and the crown i do not purl uh, the row after decreases if you want you can do it so i have now five stitches in each section as I said, in total 25 stitches and now we will make the last round with decreases. We are going to knit two together all the way around. Knit two together. Knit two together. Knit two together. Knit two together. Please finish this round. At the end, you will have just one knit stitch because we had twenty five stitches. Now cut the yarn, leaving at least 10 or 15 centimeters tail. I'm going to use a yarn needle. Also, you can use a hook. Thread the tail. And slip remaining stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Correct, everything is correct. Now pull the tail. Here is the crown and pull. the tail on the wrong side through the center.
Now again pu pull the tail underneath remaining stitches. You can do it one once once or twice more and cut the yarn and that's it. The hat is ready. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Look at this beautiful crown. Please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like this video. Share this video, leave comments if you have any questions. Check my YouTube channel, there are more slouchy hats like this you can find. Thank you again and see you soon.